Welcome to a lesson on implicit solutions to separable differential equations. Sometimes we are not able to give an explicit solution to a separable differential equation, meaning we're not able to solve the solution for y. Let's solve y prime equals xy divided by the quantity y squared plus one. The first thing to recognize is we have a separable differential equation because the equation fits the form of dy dx equals f of x times g of x, meaning the right side is a function of x times a function of y. Analyzing the right side, notice f of x is equal to x, and g of y is equal to the rational function y divided by the quantity y squared plus one. Once we know we have a separable differential equation, we need all the y parts on the left and the x parts on the right. To do this, we either divide both sides of the equation by g of y, or multiply by one over g of y, and then write the differential equation in differential form. And then finally, we integrate both sides of the equation. To begin, we replace y prime with dy dx, and because g of y is a rational function, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the rational function, which is the quantity y squared plus one divided by y, and then write the differential equation in differential form, which can be viewed as simply multiplying both sides of the equation by dx. This gives us the quantity y squared plus one divided by y dy equals x dx. And now we integrate both sides of the equation. Let's simplify the integrand function on the left. Because we're dividing by a monomial, we can write this as y squared divided by y, which is y plus one divided by y. And now we integrate both sides of the equation. The integral of y with respect to y is y squared divided by two, plus the integral of one divided by y is equal to natural log absolute value of y, plus a constant, which we'll include on the right. On the right, the integral of x with respect to x is equal to x squared divided by two, plus a constant, we'll put plus c on the right. So again, now we have y squared divided by two plus natural log absolute value of y equals x squared divided by two plus c. Now it might be easier to clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by two, which gives us y squared plus two natural log absolute value of y equals x squared plus two times c, but we'll let d equal two times c and just put plus d. And this is the general solution. It is not easy to find the solution explicitly as it is hard to solve for y. We therefore leave the solution in this form and call it an implicit solution. It is still easy to check that an implicit solution satisfies the differential equation. In this case, we differentiate with respect to x and remember that y is a function of x and therefore when differentiating y with respect to x, we need to apply the chain rule and we have an extra factor of y prime or dy dx. So differentiating both sides of the implicit solution with respect to x, the derivative of y squared with respect to x is two y times y prime. Again, we're applying the chain rule here because we're differentiating y with respect to x. And then plus two times the derivative of natural log y with respect to x, which is two times one divided by y or two divided by y times y prime equals on the right, the derivative of x squared with respect to x is two x, and the derivative of d, a constant with respect to x, is zero. Next, we factor out y prime from the left, which gives us y prime times the quantity two y plus two divided by y equals, on the right, two x. Next, let's clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by y, which gives us y prime equals two y squared plus two equals two xy. Next, we need to solve for y prime by dividing both sides by the quantity two y squared plus two. Notice this fraction simplifies, so it's a common factor of two. Simplifying the common factor of two out between the numerator and denominator, we finally have y prime equals xy divided by the quantity of y squared plus one, which is the given differential equation, verifying our general solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.